Incredible video from Encino where a driver caught by surveillance cameras slamming to, into at least five parked cars. Then he hops out to look at the damage and jumps back in and takes off. One of the car owners now gathering evidence and posting flyers, hoping that somebody knows something that could help catch this hit and run driver. KTLA's Mary Beth McDade is live from Encino where all five vehicles are out of commission tonight. MB. Yes, hi there, Sharon. Yes, those uh, five cars, well, they were parked along here when a hit and run driver came along and crashed into them. Now, while some have been towed away, you can see others have been left behind, but we are told that all of the damaged cars are not able to be driven anymore. As for the suspect, he is still on the loose tonight. Security cameras capture a white Ford pickup come barreling down Killian Street near Newcastle Avenue in Encino on Saturday morning around 545. We're not sure if it's an F-150 or an F-250, but one of the two came down this street. At a certain point, the driver seemed to lose control based on the footage we've seen, and he started bouncing off the row of cars. This couple who didn't want to be identified had just purchased their new red SUV three weeks ago. He hit about five cars before he caught on this red SUV over here and that's when he stopped bouncing and just collided into that. He pushed that kind of into the sidewalk and into the uh, gray sedan in front of it. You then see the driver with long shorts and what appears to be a ponytail get out, look at the damage, get back into his truck and take off. All five cars are super heavily damaged. I don't know if they've officially been ruled totaled yet, but they're not drivable. The couple lives down the street and didn't realize their car had been crashed into until several hours later when the wife went to drive her new car. It was very upsetting. Um, it was devastating to come out here and see my car like that. Uh, it's kind of one of my worst nightmares, honestly, is to lose my vehicle. They have filed a police report and put flyers up around the neighborhood about the hit and run, hoping someone can help identify the driver who caused this costly crash. If anybody recognizes this person from the footage, contact somebody. If you see one of the flyers, contact the number or the email address on that or the police. And that couple tells us the truck left behind a large pool of oil, and so it probably didn't get too far, and no doubt that that truck has a lot of front-end damage on its right side. For now, reporting live here in Encino, Mary Beth McDade, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Mary Beth, thank you.